السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکاتو اختر مبارک اید مبارک if you're watching this during Eid I'm filming it during Eid it is Eid day number two here in the United States of America still a little bit weird to taste my food as I'm cooking it but because I could taste it I can tell you that this is I'm making um, Afghan kufta horma which is a meatball stew. Today's recipe is made with ground beef and ground turkey. In case you want to be a little healthy post Ramadan, let's make it. Okay, so what we have here, we have two pounds of ground meat. Today I have a mixture of ground beef and ground turkey, you know, to make it a little bit uh, healthy, right? Post Ramadan. We don't want to be too gluttonous, right? Maybe we do. I don't know. When I'm done with the lord, sha? Dad was shan with the lord, or dad was shan is temala wama. I had ground beef and ground turkey at home, so that's what I'm going to use. I have two onions. I'm going to put those into my food processor. Okay? So this is what I have in my house right now, okay? So. When I tell you all the time, recipe is just the recipe is just a template. If I had cilantro, that's what I would be using right now. But I don't have any in the house, and I didn't buy any. So I have parsley here. I have some parsley. I'm going to add that. And I have some dill. Oh, it smells so good. I'm going to add a handful of that. And the full recipe is in the description below, also on the website, so that you can see exactly the amounts that I add. Now, if I was smart, which I am today, I'm going to add my meat into the food processor as well, so I don't have to mix it up with my hands, although I don't mind mixing it up. So my mom made meatballs quite often in my house growing up. Um, and I, I have to be honest, I don't, I don't really know how. So this is what I think her recipe is, although stay tuned. I'm going to ask her for her recipe, and then we will make her recipe as well. That's probably a good idea. I have here... Two teaspoons sumac, paprika, cumin, and coriander. Okay, I'm just gonna add all of that. Turmeric, salt, and pepper. And then, of course, ginger garlic paste. You can add fresh ginger and fresh garlic if you'd like, but this is so much easier. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Here I have garam masala. And this is optional. You don't have to add it if you don't want to. Now we are going to actually form the meatballs. The best way to do this, I'm going to show you. So the best way to do this is you get a bowl, fill it with water, put water on your hands, and then take your meatball and form your ball. Okay, this way it doesn't stick. You can also use an ice cream scoop or a melon baller or something to make sure they're all uniform. I have my oven preheated to 425 degrees. We're gonna put these in there for 10 minutes to start, and then we're going to check on them. My meatballs cooked in the 425 degree oven for about 25 minutes. Perfect. My son already tried one. He said it was the most flavorful meatball he has ever had. What we don't want to do is we don't want to have a sauce that is overwhelming in its flavor. You have to forgive me, I was crying because I, um, I grated my onion. So I have some tears. <laughs> I have lots of sad stories, I can tell you, but 
I'm not going to lie and say it was a sad story. It was the onions. Because these are so flavorful, you want just a sauce that will complement it. Highlight the flavors. This is a little variation of my Mantu sauce, um, which is a very simple, very quick tomato sauce. We're going to turn on our stove, our burner, and add about two tablespoons of oil. I have olive oil here. Now remember what I have here is ground beef and ground turkey, so it doesn't have a lot of fat. Onion. and the tomato. Now to this, I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt, malga, namak, and one teaspoon of cumin. I have cumin seeds here, okay? And that's going to toast up very nicely in that. You want to make sure that your tomatoes get good and soft, okay? What you're looking for here, and I'm going to tell you a little, a little trick, is the oil gets absorbed by the vegetables, and then it releases it again. So you're looking for the release of that oil again. You can see it's releasing its liquid again, right? It absorbed it all and now you can see it's releasing it. And I am just mushing up the tomatoes, mushing the tomatoes. You can see it's released a lot of that oil that it had originally absorbed. Here I have a tomato paste and I'm going to add about two tablespoons and this is what's going to make up the base of our sauce. Now, if you don't want to do this and you want to use a jar sauce, the whatever you want to do, okay? If you want to eat these meatballs plain, I don't blame you. Okay, now everything is cooked, everything is good. Now we add the water, okay? Smitha. It's two and a half cups of water. We're going to let that come up to a boil again. And to this, we're going to add about two teaspoons of vinegar. I have here white vinegar and some black pepper. I told you, very simple. Very simple. And don't complain, oh, it doesn't have any spices. Oh, it doesn't... You trust your halajan or no? You should trust me, okay? If I don't make something good, I don't show you the video. It's not a big deal. This sauce is delicious, okay? Now we're going to add our meatballs into the sauce. Some people cook the meatballs in the sauce or they finish it in the sauce. They cook it almost all the way through and then they cook it in the sauce. Now, because our meatballs do not have a, a binder to them, no egg, no... Um, uh, uh, flour or breadcrumbs, they have a tendency to fall apart sometimes, okay? Sometimes. So the easiest way to do this is to cook it about 80% of the way. So take it out at 20 minutes, 80% of the way, and then finish it in your sauce, okay? Completely cooked is between 25 and 30 minutes. But now you just let it sit here in the sauce, and then you get your rest of your food together. This warms all the way through. The sauce will reduce a little bit and then you will have your wonderful meatballs and sauce, okay?
Kashakur, Bihidir, Bihir Khoshal, Somch Tasunan Rasarawas. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Afghan Cooks with Miriam, the Afghan who cooks. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. You're here, you might as well subscribe. Why not get in early on the ground floor and hit the bell notification so you'll know every time we release a new video and leave a comment and let me know if you've tried one of my recipes, um, if there's something else you'd like me to make and we'll see you again soon. Bye.